Um, the Delta variant is, though, worth paying attention to. Alex, let me just break in as well with uh, UK data. The UK reporting 22,868 more COVID-19 cases on June the 28th. That number is creeping up and it's causing consternation across the rest of Europe as well, as a result of which we're getting fresh travel restrictions across the continent. We've basically got a jumble. We've got a confusing set of rules. We're trying to get some clarity. To be honest, that's what Angela Merkel is pushing in the direction of. She wants a common approach. Uh, she wants in particularly a common approach to the UK where the Delta variant is kind of ahead of where it is maybe in other parts of Europe. Let's get the latest now with Maria Tadeo. Maria, it is becoming incredibly confusing to track what is happening here. Germany's got its rules, the UK's got its rules, Spain and Portugal have now got different rules. Can you walk me through whether or not we're going to get some clarity here? Otherwise, it's going to be very tough for people to travel this summer. Yeah, and Guy, remember that the whole point of this digital pass and this COVID uh, passport in Europe was to streamline the rules and make it very simple. If the rules are difficult to read, if they cost you money, if you have to test before you fly, you're not going to book that holiday just because it's so difficult. What is happening now, of course, is that the Germans are concerned about the Delta variant. They worry about a new wave taking hold in September. Of course, the timing, Guy, is no surprise. They have an election coming up in September. They don't want to see a repeat of what we saw last year. Now, what they say is that Europe needs to do this together and they need to do this in a way that is standard across all of the European Union. And that is why today you're seeing the Spanish now say that for every UK visitor entering the country, they will have to take a PCR test and this will become valid in the next 72 hours. If you are going on holiday now on Thursday, this Thursday coming up, you will need a PCR test. 24 hours ago, you didn't need one. Now, the thing here is that they're hoping that on July 1st, when the digital passport for COVID becomes available and goes into effect, that this will help standardize the rules. Um, is Europe united on this front, particularly if it's going to come with them having to quarantine within EU borders? Look, I think when it comes to EU internal travel between the European Union, that is uh, no question that the rules are the same for everyone. And so far, you know, they haven't taken draconian measures as to say one country from the European Union is not allowed to enter into another European Union country. You know, Alex, one of the fundamental freedoms of the EU is to be able to travel everywhere without showing your passport. That is that is key. But what you are seeing, however, is friction between different countries. You know, again, the Germans are being very cautious on this. Some of the Southern European countries do believe that to some extent, uh, quote unquote, they are freaking out over this. The data does not show that this will be a repeat of last summer. You know, we have the vaccination campaign that's going quicker. The elderly population is also vaccinated. So they do say the parameters are different and they should be taken into account.